Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. In this video, I'm going to be looking at five games that you need to buy an Evercade for to play. Now, not all of these games are available everywhere else. Some of the games are probably cheaper by getting the Evercade option and some games you can't get anywhere else but on the Evercade. I'll explain as we go throughout the video, but for me, these are five games that you really need to get an Evercade for. Let's get started. <laughs> So first pick for me is Good Boy Galaxy. This was released last year alongside Witch and Wiz on a dual cart um, and it's a fantastic Game Boy Advance style game. It's like a Metroidvania game where you play Maxwell the dog who has crash landed uh, on a planet and you need to basically get parts to rebuild your ship uh, whilst escaping lots of different enemies and foes along the way. What a great tell. It's a Game Boy Advance game. It looks really colourful. The music is fantastic as well. Overall, great style game. It does get a little bit frustrating at times. I feel as if there could be some pointers on where to go next. Um, I find myself going back and forth numerous times throughout each level trying to figure out where I've, what I've missed and where I need to go. But other than that, I think it's a fantastic title and it's a modern retro style game that realistically Evercade is the best place to play it. Um, it will cost you $20 on itch.io if you want to play the digital version, which is pretty much the same price as an Evercade cart. But the Evercade cart, you also get which was whiz um, and obviously if you're going to purchase this physically it will cost you a lot more than the Evercade version so for me you really need to get the Evercade version to play this game uh, at, at its best and um, what a great tell don't miss out really good stuff and it definitely impressed me and a lot of other people it's a very popular title out there in the Evercade world no doubt about it And as I mentioned earlier, don't forget you also get Witch and Wiz as part of this collection as well. Um, it's a very different game, it's a puzzle style game on the NES. Um, although I'm not picking this game as one of the games you need to buy Evercade for, because I don't think this is the best way of playing it, but it does come, and it's part of the cart, so it is something of a bonus. And it's still a fantastic game in its own right. So next up, it's the amazing Tanza. Now this one sneaked in on the Mega Cat Studios collection way back in 2020. Um, and overall, that's actually a really good cart. Um, but this one just stuck out as one of the best games at that time anyway on Evercade. And it certainly stands up there as a very good game. Whether it's still one of the best, I'm not entirely sure. Many people would probably have that as one of their best games on Evercade. Other people might think it's overrated. Personally, I think somewhere in the middle. I think it's an excellent game. Uh, and if you want to buy this physically on your your Mega Drive, it will cost you about $50, uh, whereas if you got the Evercade cart, it's only going to cost you between $16 and $20, sort of dollars. so it is great value for money, and also you get the rest of the games that's on that collection as well, so definitely, Evercade is one of the best places to play this, it's one of those games I've not really seen uh, on many other platforms like Steam and Playstation, so definitely one for Evercade. So next up is the absolutely amazing Tanglewood. Uh, for me, still stands as one of the best games on Evercade. This was released a few years ago on the uh, sort of dual cart with Xeno Crisis, uh, and I absolutely love it. It's a Mega Drive cart, which if you try to purchase this physically, it would cost you $50. Um, and obviously, you can purchase it. I think it's available on Steam, maybe even on the Switch, but it costs you about $15, $16 or pounds. Um, so realistically, the best place to buy it would be on on the Evercade, because as I mentioned, you also get the fantastically brilliant Xeno Crisis, although that is a very different game. For me, I've always preferred playing Tanglewood, a sort of a almost cutesy style um, Mega Drive platformer, which I really got hooked. I thought it was brilliant, uh, but don't be fooled by the sort of cutesy nature. It does get very dark, but for me, it stands up as one of the best games on Evercade still, and perhaps one of the best games I've ever seen on a Mega Drive platform. Absolutely brilliant stuff.
And don't forget, the cart obviously does come with Xeno Crisis, but Xeno Crisis is pretty much available on every platform under the sun, so I wouldn't really purchase this specifically for a year of arcade. But Tanglewood, I would say absolutely. So this is a bonus. <laughs> So next up is Blood Omen Legacy of Cain from Legacy of Cain Collection that also has um, the game Soul Reaver which is also fantastic as well. However I think the main reason you would probably want to pick this up especially on Evercade is Blood Omen because it's not really available on that many other platforms. The only other platform I can recall seeing it on was GOG which is pretty much a PC platform. Um, and not everyone has access to that sort of thing like a PC, a laptop or even a Steam Deck to play these sort of style games. So Evercade is probably the easiest and most accessible way to actually get playing these games. Yes, the sort of remastered versions will um, sort of devalue it slightly but apparently it's not going to be Blood Omen. Blood Omen is not going to be part of the remastered, it's just going to be Soul Reaver which is also a fantastic game on this cart. So Combine them together, I think you've got a must-have uh, purchase, you really need to get another kid, especially play Blood Omen, and you've got the bonus of playing the original Soul Reaver as well, which is absolutely fantastic stuff, and one that you really should not miss. Spirits of the underworld, and consume the souls of your enemies. So my final pick has to be the Duke Nukem 1 and 2 remastered games uh, that was on Duke Nukem Collection 1 along with Duke Nukem 3D. Altogether a fantastic cart but the main reason why you would probably want to purchase an Evercade if you were a big fan of these original games. Now these are remastered versions, um, Blaze have spent a lot of time on them and most likely spent a lot of money um, so fixing these games up. Originally they were a small box with very little sounds um, so they've put an awful lot of effort into it. You've now got these sort of lovely widescreen versions of these games and they are fantastically addictive. Now for like me I never actually got to play these games originally uh, so these were a nice pleasant surprise uh, and I love the style, I love the platformy style, sort of shoot 'em up run and gun style thing and the second game is also fantastically well done. You've got access to save states uh, and lots of other different sort of stats as well throughout uh, the game. They've done such an amazing job uh, with these games. I'm actually surprised they've not tried to put these on like, the Xbox Marketplace or PlayStation Marketplace to make more money out of it. But as it stands right now, the only place to play these remastered games is on the Evercade. Uh, so it's much of a, a bit of an exclusive sort of game uh, that you really need to purchase an Evercade for. Uh, and for me, this is fantastic. Probably even might stand as one of the best games or best carts overall on Evercade. Um, I still have that definitely in my top three. I'm not really sure which is my favourite at the moment. I still need to make uh, my decision on that. But anyway, it also comes complete with the PlayStation version of Duke Nukem 3D as a little bonus. Um, yeah, you can pick this up elsewhere and probably even a better version of it somewhere uh, like the DOS version on Steam or somewhere else. But it's still a great sort of collection. I think the only reason I would probably purchase this is for those Duke Nukem 1 and 2 remastered and definitely one of the best reasons to get an Evercade for. Thanks for watching. Catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.